My name is Trevor Lorimer. I'm from UKZN, the University of KwaZulu-Natal. And we have, in the past five years, been developing a power line inspection robot. ESCOM normally needs to inspect its power lines uh, every year. Uh, they do this by sending helicopters or people to each power, power line and inspect by camera. Uh, this is very uh, costly to them. It takes a lot of time. It's sometimes very dangerous as well. What we plan to do is to automate the process uh, by sending robots up onto the power lines to inspect um, and find faults before they become disruptive to the, to the grid. So the robot that we've developed is a very lightweight uh, platform for a camera uh, that the CSIR has developed. Uh, this camera is able to detect infrared, ultraviolet and visual. And uh, what we plan to do is have linesmen operating these, these robots. But to get them onto the power line, the, the linesman has to uh, carry the robot up the, uh, up the power line. And for this reason, we've made it very lightweight. So the linesman uh, climbs the tower with the robot in hand and uh, deploys a hot stick, an insulated stick, onto the power line itself. So, and then the, he deploys the robot onto the, onto the hot stick and the uh, robot travels along the hot stick to, towards the power line, re, uh, climbs onto the power line, and then the robot will be deployed onto the power line. Um, from there, uh, at first we'll have the robot operated via a ground station link. So a person on the ground will be in communication with the robot, uh, will see what the robot is seeing with the camera feed. Um, so he can then uh, operate the robot, climb it around obstacles, uh, get around towers, uh, all via the ground station. ESCOM currently spends in the millions of rands every year to inspect power lines. We are trying to mitigate the cost of inspection uh, by reducing fuel costs, man hours. Um, we're also improving the safety of the power line inspections by having it roboticized. We are able to operate at a fraction of a cost that ESCOM is able to uh, inspect with a normal helicopter and we can get a unprecedented amount of detail from our inspections as well because of the fact that we are so very close to the line.